hopefully everything goes well. And this melee weapons mod modifications can improve swing speed, change the damage type, or even make your weapon more durable. Get the weird ass bug thing. Raising your stealth skills unlocks sneak attacks for bonus damage for previewing items in locked containers and the ability for vending and some research supplements. Raising your inspiration unlocks special attacks for your companions to damage, distract, or destroy your opponent. That's good to know. Halcyon is part of the Halcyon cluster, so named so named because Halcyon is the brightest star in the cluster when viewed from Earth. You get a temporary oh. Damn, bro. Thick. <laughs> hey. Down with some drinks. Oh, adrenal things I haven't done yet. Pick this. Easy. Journal. Cartridge revolver, armor parts, mag. Journal. I really feel like that was way too. Until it's not. Oh, it's opened up. This is where we've been before. Alright, well, let's roll over here. Edgewater is the place to be the employment community. <laughs> Basic armory modifications improve armor against specific damage types and give skill bonuses. Utility and gadget mods provide a wide variety. Something I didn't see it. Massive passenger ships can take up a decade to complete a trip to the colony. As light mess light messenger drones can make the trip easier. Armor reduces damages from every attack. This makes heavy armor very effective against fast attacking and light damage weapons. Oh, the most you can do is 50 in each group of upgrade things. Okay, so we got the book. So well, let's save this menu. Um, I don't think I got anything spectacular. 102, just 
For her, so let's get that done. I don't even think I've been in there yet. Have I? I don't know. I don't remember. Maybe we'll go check that out too. While we're in town. Oh, you look shitty. Oh, he's inside the building. I wish I could put the weapon down. If anybody knows how to put the weapon down, let me know. Oh. Hey. Any progress on that matter we discussed? Fuck yeah. Got your book right Wonderful. here. Wonderful. This is fantastic. Well worth all the sacrifices I. What the fuck is this? Made. Is this French? I can't fucking read French. <laughs> <laughs> it's a you law forsaken fuck. joke is what it is French ha. I was so high and mighty preaching to the yokels about following the plan while fighting it at every turn You didn't want that book to keep others from reading it. You wanted it for yourself. Well, uh, yes but I assure you, it was not for personal gain, only for the greater good. I've oh, spent my life yeah. searching for the keys to unlocking the secrets of the universal equation that underlies the plan. I had hoped this book held some of those answers. I became so desperate, I even got myself assigned to this plague-ridden backwater to find the damn thing. All the time and suffering I've spent. Purple. Wasted. You didn't do shit, bro. At least you still have your mission work. Why don't you think the why don't why did you think the book held the secrets you're looking for? It has to be some kind of cosmic retribution. Plague ridden backwater. That's exactly what I said. So I'm doing that one. Please, those dolts. Nothing could be more excruciating than discussing the true nature of reality with people who have no interest beyond their next aether wave program. But that's neither here nor there. What I need to do now is to here find a translator, there. obviously. But to do that, I'll first need to secure transport. You have a ship. Perhaps I could make myself of use to your crew. Oh god, you're- I don't like you. What's in it for me? Free spiritual counseling, someone to watch your back. Oh god. Not to mention a grown-up in the party. I'm 28. Exactly. Okay, better looking. I'm pretty handy with a tossball stick, or any blunt instrument, really. I'm also a passable gun hand if it comes to that. I can usually talk my way out of conflict, though. That is true. Oh, is, uh... I'm fairly competent at hacking computers as well. Oh. All right, let's go. Fantastic. Huh? Let me get my things in order, and I'll catch up with you. Edgewater's right, gonna miss you. Folk here always had good things to say about their vicar. Thank you, Ms. Holcomb. I'll be glad for the change of scenery, and to leave this place behind. I shall see you on the ship, Captain, whenever you're ready to leave Emerald Vale. Hell yeah, rank five, mother bleepers. Oh, companion perks. Your companion has leveled up. Oh, so she must level up with me. That's cool. Let's check that out. Do the same thing we keep doing because it's working. And then we got the three left. What does this do? Oh yeah. That's not bad, I guess. Uh, he's, the guy told me that's important, and then we're always gonna do this. Just because that's what keeps us alive. 
at the bare minimum. Oh, why? Yes. No, I don't get one of those. Alright. Pravati. I think we're gonna give her health. I don't want her to die. Like her a lot. She looks pretty fucking cool. So what are these things? Hat computer. Oh, okay. Repair weapons. Maybe we should look at. Her. I don't even know how to repair them. <laughs> oh, maybe it's one of the things. Oh, nope. Oh, it didn't go on that, did it? <laughs> no modification, no modifications. What did I do? Alright, well, we just gained another member. That's exciting. What's that? Oh, I got rid of it. Gotcha. Okay. Oh, there we go. Oh, I guess I can't. Huh. Okay, well, let's save. We got it, a new guy, he'll be coming, so we gotta remember to save a weapon. A uh, sword or some shit, and some armor for him. I do have another one of these. Okay. Let's go find this girl. Where's the store? I gotta remember. I don't know this. And there are no signs. <coughs> Dude, I'm sure it'll be obvious. Like that. I'm what are you? I've never oh, you're the. Thing. Oh, what's this? Shop. I thought one of these was like a general store. 
Let's just break the house. Need a, need a, probably sell stuff. I need to make more room. General Take store, right there. The wall. I'm not allowed in here. Not since the vending machine incident. Holcomb, got my eye on you, girl. Miss Holcomb no, ain't allowed start. in this establishment. Not since that little incident. Well, maybe, you know what? You need to let her. Absolutely. I'll keep my hands in my pockets. I won't touch anything while we're in here, Mr. Moreau. I promise. Music to my ears. Got. Okay, let's sell first. Sell the valuables. I hope I don't need any of this stuff. So, that stuff handy, handy. I think I'll need to use this someday. Uh, we just save him. There's some nines, nines. We have two of these. Oh, and it gives him a uh, condition 100%. Condition 100%. Sell that one. That. That. Oh, that was a level two, I think. Alright, so that's for him when he shows up. We'll save. We have a 110. Alright, so save that. And we'll get rid of that. Ooh. Did not see that. Get rid of that. 215. Alright, so keep that. Keep that for them. He said a blunt weapon, specifically, so I have one of these. I'll keep that for him, so there's a rifle, or a gun. I don't know how many slots he's going to have. We got some stuff for him when he gets here. <laughs> the new guy. Well, let's repair some stuff. How expensive is that? We'll repair that, and that, and that, because that keeps me alive. Right, let's see what we got here. What is this big ass thing? I don't have enough money for. Level two, and it has a knockback effect. I do like that. I have a shotgun. Let's I have a ton of ammo. I feel like I should buy some though. Four, four, nine, nine, three, seven. Okay, we have better stuff than that. We don't need that. Oh, I wish I had more. Backpack. Until you increase your carry capacity. I feel like that's probably. Now how to do that. Does it automatically affect? Oh 
I thought I accidentally shot him. Man, I'm gonna have to Google how to do this. <laughs> Maybe it's at one of the uh big Alright. Had your rations yet? Yep. Two yeah, I did think. this bitch. Alright, so we're going after Zoe. I got some markers on the map. But we're going after that one. But you know what? Talk to this guy real quick to make sure I don't have to give him. Lovely hey, to see you about, Miss Parvati. Things going alright, Silas? Uh, I'm nice keeping person. him careful and true, miss. Best to ask her yourself. My dad's buried here. Silas watches oh, over him when I get... Nice. When I can't leave the house. I'm sorry, oh. Pravati. Well, thanks. Something I can do for you? Well... Need to talk about yeah? Eugene. What about him? I oh, his... Law, don't tell me. Marauders were serving his body as the centerpiece in their vile feasts. Did they stick a mock apple in his mouth? Uh, no. Still in good condition? Hmm. I could always ask Conrad to have them installed. Ew. Eugene's teeth oh. were handed down the generations. And my old chompers ain't getting any prettier. You run into any trouble? Conrad's, Conrad's barbershop is a yawning today. pit that swallows his every bit. I keep telling him he should cut a few corners. Skimp out on the disinfectant. You gotta put the squeeze on Conrad. Find some dirt on him. Maybe check his back room. Okay. Well, that's the word, extortion. Been on the tip of my tongue all day. Huh. All right, well, hold on. Let's go do that. I did see in the comments that someone said there's a bill at the back door. Terror on Monarch, the roots of Bellamy and Halcyon Helen, Spencer Woolworth, the chief of the savages. Raising your science skill allows you to tinker with your armor and weapons at a workbench, increasing the amount of damage they prevent or cause. Twelve amazing episodes. There's a big ass gun in her hand. Thank you. 
Back room no. Back room no. Back room no. What can I do Maybe for you? I found your note. I know about Eugene. Why not use his teeth as You know about Eugene? Metal. How? I found a note from Phyllis. Then, you know Phyllis suggested selling off Eugene's gold teeth. I didn't approve of the idea then, and I don't approve of it now. Eugene's oh. golden teeth were a family heirloom, representing three generations Gross. of poor dental hygiene. He took them to his grave. More than a few. Those teeth were his personal savings. I can't ask Silas to dig up a man's body and pry a few teeth loose from his jaw just to pay my bills. Can I? Uh, are you asking rhetorically? Because if you're being serious... Ugh, gross. Desperate measures, Miss Holcomb. Desperate measures. I'm going to have to ask Silas to dig up those teeth. It's the only way I'm paying my gravesite fees. Yeah, thank you, Pinhead, for telling me that. I'm going to have to ask Silas to dig up his teeth. Uh, I Here you are. Gravesite papers affixed with my signature and an IOU. I'm told Eugene killed Eugene him. was not a suicide. He put a bullet in his brain, yes, but that's largely a technicality. I was the one who prepared Eugene's body for interment. I discovered symptoms of the plague on his corpse, and I discovered medicine in his pocket. Lots of medicine. Eugene overdosed on Adrena time, which is known to cause psychosis and paranoia as possible side effects. The paranoia drove him to take his own life. That's horrible. That is horrible. It's a miracle of bureaucracy. If Eugene's death were filed as a suicide, we'd all pay the price for his crime. We can all thank our lucky stars that young Eugene was hopped up on medication and suffered its predictable side effect. I included it all in my official report. I'd like to think I saved Edgewater a great deal of money. We never could have paid the fines associated with a suicide. Yeah? All right, man. Well, it was cool. I never talk to you again, I think. Crazy one, I think I remember. Pretty game in a weird way. Oh, look at that ship. I'm just gonna check that out. Probably make me check it out. Ah! Sorry. The landing pad? That's exciting. When I was little, we'd get freighters in every Sunday noon. Now they only come but once a month. Thank the law. I've been requisitioning backup for months. Guess the boss finally came to his senses. You ever ah. swung a truncheon? Let me see your rifling stance. I want to make sure you're up to snuff. Silas sent me. You all have grace. I told Silas I'd pay my dues if he agreed to join the resistance. Guess this means he's finally heard the calling. Sure, man. 
I'm talking face. about mechanical soldier. Cold, heartless automatons made of iron and lies. I don't know what you're talking Just about. my luck. I asked for backup, and the boss sends me one of them simple I think folk. You're, uh, a little All right. Crazy. Listen real close. Auto mechanicals. Creatures forged in the fires of malevolence. I seen them over by the old power plant. Clattering about. Firing at the birds. Orchestrating their uprising. When the swarms of mechanicals come clanging on over that hill, where will you be? Cowering beneath your cot? I'm hoping not or on standing the shoulder to shoulder with the resistance? Uh... Go on. I got questions. What do you have you ever seen the way a mechanical just thing? stands there? Just looking at you, scanning you with its murderous yeah, oculus. You're like every other old white guy. Pray okay. to the law that you never do. A mechanical never forgets the face of its enemy. First they will rob us of our jobs. And once they have taken <laughs> away our livelihoods, they will take away our very lives. And our women. Um, I mean, I guess I've been gathering up a war thing. chest over the years. Saw so tuna cans, mostly. Some spaces chaw. A few bit carts. I'll reward you for your aid. Proper army pay enlistment fees. Enlistment fees. fees. Yeah, I suppose. Wouldn't want to give the resistance a bad name. They what have sent a done? scout prowling around the junkyard just behind our beloved town. The scout must not be permitted to return to its base of operations. Cross it off, then report back. All right. I'm going to do that. I'm going after this mechanical scout. Mechanical's got a weak spot in their midsections. I think the technical term is, um, the blue glowy square thing. Oh. All right, well... Have any though?
some sort of freelancer? Grave digging's a fine profession. Always work to be had, yes. and nary a word of complaint out of your clients. Of clients. Yeah. You run into any Jeez, trouble? Bro. All done. Paperwork for you. Paperwork. Reliable work from a freelancer. That's gonna take some getting used to. I got. And I'll buy you a drink sometime. Suppose you've earned it. One good turn deserves another. Thank you. Abernathy was trying to hide his own. Abernathy was sick? With the plague? Yeah. That's disgusting. I shook hands with the guy. He was what? Busy. No. If I knew he was sick, I would have had him reported. I needed his fees because of his name. A for Abernathy. He was at the top of my list, you see? <laughs> That's all for now. Alright, so we got some stuff for that. Let's check it out. Oh, uh, actually, I don't think it is anything. Fees, bolts, some interesting stuff. Are we going to find that girl? Yeah, let's find Zoe. Alright, looks like this bitch is over here. Well? What is it? Oh, yeah. Never mind.
Yeah, huh? You mean why I'm not allowed in the store anymore? There was a, a kind of a thing, the vending machine, when I was 12. 12? Sure, Where's but go? folks got long memories around here. I've always been good with my hands, right? So I saw a lock on the machine and thought, oh, this must be how they refill it. But I had to know. So I did my thing. And next thing I know, there's a couple hundred bottles of zero G rolling out the front door and into the road. Oh, uh, chuckle. It's <laughs> not funny. Right about then, a bunch of loaders came rolling in the gate, fresh off the Saltuna ships. And Mr. Thompson was up on the porch making a speech about how everyone would have to volunteer a third shift to get it all canned. Anyhow, you ever seen an auto loader run over a bottle of zero G? Oh, sure. Uh, sure thing. Oh, sorry. Alright, we're all healed up with stuff. Hey, bitch. Wow, you crossed them all off like some sort of heroic accountant running down a list. Teach me your ways. Here's Zoe, right? You what? For you you mean Adelaide's little congregation of nature loving nobodies? I could not possibly be less interested in them. You, on the other hand, you were a sight to behold. If I had half your skills, I'd be the greatest outlaw the coast has ever seen. Why? Adelaide wants me back on garden duty or something? Thanks, but I'm not going anywhere. This is where I belong. <coughs> I'm great at clarifying. Uh, no. I insinuated myself into their company, see? And they didn't seem to mind one whit. I've been 
I may have bartered them a few boxes of Adrena time, but I'm sure that's got nothing to do with it. I don't know. The vital processes that constitute the miracle of life are mysterious and unknowable. Oh, you mean around these guys? The Marauders wouldn't hurt me. They love me. I'm practically their queen. Yeah, must be my natural charisma. I got kicked out of Edgewater on account of falling sick with plague and stealing some medicine to treat myself. I'd heard some outlaws set up camp in the botanical labs. I decided to throw in with them, seeing as I always wanted to be an outlaw myself. Instead, what do I find? But a bunch of former workers camped out around a greenhouse. I couldn't just go back to the cannery, so I was stuck with them. I've got all the time in Halcyon. Ever consider the Marauder life? It's pretty sweet.
Well, guys, we're gonna go to Edgewater and sell our shit and clear a bunch of room. Or can we get to our ship? Where's our ship? Okay, yeah, let's see if we can get that guy to come with us. Because three, three guns is better than two. I've been able to get out here, I so would have stripped this for parts. Due to catastrophic power failure, all doors will remain on security lockdown. <laughs> the ship's engines cannot be powered until a replacement regulator has been properly installed. I guess that guy's not here yet. If your equipment is in need of repair or modification. There we go. That's cool. Right, let's go sell some shit.
Music to my ears. All right, guys. Another day at the cannery. We are going to wrap this up. Work. It's been a little over an hour. We got found the girl, but our persuasion is good enough. And then, uh, so we'll have to go back to her. I hope we have a next level up. I'll, I'll just have to do that. We got another guy, but he's, he's not at the ship yet. And then uh, we're going to go divert power from Edgewater, I think, probably. We, or maybe we'll go kill that robot that's taking over. But either way, we need to keep the I'm going to save, and uh, I will see you guys later tonight after my kid goes to sleep. Have a good one.